The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside senior Ben King, I'm Danielle Whaley, and this is the Eagle Sports Network. We round out the position previews with a look at the defenders and goalkeepers. Ben, you're heading into your fourth season now with the team. Over the years, how would you say that your play uh, has developed and grown? I'd definitely say the main thing is I've matured a lot. Um, so I've matured in my game on the field. Technically, I worked on things like crossing, long passing, 1v1 defending, uh, just little things to gradually improve my game. Um, and then I'd say the second thing is I've improved off the pitch. I've matured in terms of being more of a leader. I think I've improved uh, being more level-headed in my communicating because um, especially becoming an upperclassman, a, new, a lot of the new guys ask questions and ask for advice. So I've had to mature to help them. So I'd say yeah, in those two things technically and being a leader, I've uh, improved a lot. You talk about being a leader, and I feel like that's kind of a key with this crew, with there being so many guys lining up at defender with 12 of them uh, out on the pitch. And you were one of three players who played uh, all 10 matches last season. The only one you're really losing is Gordon Zabrowski. How does it help having so much leadership back this year? Oh, it definitely helps a lot. You know, last year we had a really good team. We came first, although it was different. It was in pod play. We came first, got the most amount of points, got to the semi-final of the tournament and was unlucky not to win. So we already started off with a really good team, a really strong base. Uh, with the back four, uh, the keeper, and as well the rest of the team. Um, so we had a really good starting point, and the new guys that have come in have really upped the level as well. So we got a really good group of newcomers and returners, so we should be, should be looking good for the season. You look back at last season, the team had seven shutouts, um, the highest in the conference. How important was it to have that clicking point that you can build off of again this year? Oh, it's definitely important, you know. Obviously, as a back unit with the back four and the keeper, all you want is a clean sheet. Because, you know, if you keep a clean sheet, you can't lose the game. So that's a good starting point. And last year, we had a lot of consistency, I think, the back five. I think for, it was mostly the same back five for a lot of the games. Um, so clicking, like you said, really helps getting good chemistry with those guys next to you. But as well, like I said, the new guys have come in and have pushed everyone and are doing really good. So there might be a bit more rotation this year, which, again, is good because there's a lot of competition for places. So everyone taking on the information and learning each other's strengths or weaknesses will help the team. Um, so again, defensively, we're looking good for this year. 12 defenders that are going to be on the roster this year, four goalkeepers. That's the largest amount of goalkeepers that Carson has been seeing in a few years. How important is it to have that kind of depth in goal? Oh, it's definitely important. Uh, the goalkeeper is one of the biggest uh, positions on the field. You know, we saw last year uh, Bram started most of the games and how many big saves he made for us at nil-nil or one-nil. So, you know, if maybe there's an injury or if a bit of rotation, like I said, everyone needs to be ready. And that goes for every position, not just in goal. So definitely having depth in goal, in defence and throughout the team is massively important. Like I said, through injuries, maybe through COVID or maybe someone's just tired, needs a break. So definitely depth is important and especially in goal. You talked about it a little bit with all the newcomers. There are eight total newcomers in the backfield this year, uh, six at defender, two in net. Uh, what needs to be the key for these returning guys where they can try to make an impact early? I mean, well, they've already started. We started preseason a couple of days ago, and as I mentioned earlier, they've just been pushing everyone. You know, the new guys, they're really positive. No one's being negative at all. Everyone's really good technically, and everyone seems to be so far understanding their roles. You know, so for me as a right back and a left back, you know, when to go forward, when to drop off, when to press, stuff like that. So the new guys, really, they haven't had to be caught up on anything. They've got right down to it. They've started really well. Um, so honestly, if they just keep doing the same thing, like I uh, keep mentioning, there's going to be a lot of competition and it's a good headache for the coaches to have who's going to play and who's going to be on the bench. For you yourself as you head into this season, what are some goals that you're trying to set for yourself heading into this fourth year? Uh, personally, it's just, I think it's the same for everyone. You just want to play as many games as possible. You know, obviously, I keep saying it, but there's competition, there's going to be a rotation, um, but just trying to play as many games as I can, if that's twice a week, once a week. Um, but of course, personal goals don't really matter in a team uh, team sport. So I think the goal for everyone this year is just we want to make nationals. You know, I think Greg and Cody have been here six years now. I think they're the longest serving players and we haven't got to nationals yet. You know, we've won the sack, we've came first, we've got to the tournament, but we just haven't made nationals. So I think that's the main target personally, collectively for the coaches. I think, yeah, that's the main thing. Ben, thank you so much for the time and best of luck this season. Thank you. He is Ben King. I'm Danielle Whaley and this is the Eagle Sports Network.